Welcome back students. This video is called Writing Systems of Equations. A systems of equation is where we solve two or more equations. You'll see that right here. We solve two or more equations. We'll be solving them or graphing them at the same time. We're not going to learn how to solve or graph them today, but we're going to learn, simply learn how to write them. The first step that we do is identify the variables. And so for the first ones, and for most of them that we do, we like to use x and y. Okay? So we read the problem. The sum of two numbers is 36. Their difference is 6. Find the numbers. So we're looking to find the numbers. So x is going to be our first number, and y is going to be our second number. Okay. Once we get the variables identified, then we go and we have to write two equations. Right? Earlier in the year, we learned how to read a situation and write one equation. This is the same thing, except we're going to have two. A lot of times they'll be separated out by the periods, and that's what happens in this one. Our first equation comes from this first part right here. The sum of two numbers, so sum is add. Our two numbers are x and y, and is always means equals. So we have x plus y equals 36, and that's our first equation, x plus y equals 36. Okay. Our second one comes from the second sentence here. It says their difference. Well, there is x and y. Difference means subtract. Is means equals. So x minus y equals x minus y equals 6. And that's it. That's all you have to do for that first set. Okay. The second one, the sum of two numbers is 15. Twice one number equals three times the other. Find the numbers. So again, we're looking for two numbers. So x and y. This will be first number. And this will be second number. Okay. We're looking for two equations again. Our first equation comes from right here, the sum of two numbers. So again, that's x plus y is is equals. 15 is 15. So we get x plus y equals 15. Our second one comes from this part. It says twice one number. So one number could be our x. Twice means we're going to multiply by 2. Equals means equals. 3 times a number means we multiply by 3, and our other is y. Our other number is y, so there it is, 2x equals 3y. 2x, whoops, equals 3y. Alright, so these next problems, they just don't break it down for you, but we're still going to identify our variables. Uh, and then write our two equations. It's just they don't they don't break it down. This is more like what the star questions would look like for you. It says the volleyball club has 41 members. There are more boys than girls. How many girls are there? So this tells you that we're definitely looking for G girls. And our other variable that's going to be in the problem is right there, boys. We could easily call these X and Y. Uh, and that'll be, we'll use that later on when we're actually solving them. But for now, we're just going to use B and G because that's how a lot of the problems for writing are. They use the first letter of whatever you're talking about. So we have two equations. Equation one comes from right here. The volleyball club has or equals 41 member. Well, you have to ask yourself, who is the volleyball club made out of? And it's made out of boys plus girls. So our first equation is boys plus girls equals 41 members. Okay. The second one comes from this sentence here, and this is probably the most confusing ones that you'll deal with. It says there are three more boys than girls. And so what you have to do when they're both on the same side as each other, boys and girls right next to each other, and it's kind of comparing them, there's more of these than these, then you have to figure out who's the bigger quantity. So when you read it, there are three more boys. So since there are more boys, boys is the bigger quantity. And we always start with the big one, the bigger one. So we're going to start with boys. R is our equals. Three more, right here, three more, means plus three. So we leave a space right here and we do plus three and then we have to figure out what goes in that space. And it's plus 3 to the girls, or G. So this is G. So we get B equals G plus 3. And so that one is done. Okay. All right, the second one, 
it says a rectangle has a perimeter of 18 centimeters. Its length is 5 centimeters greater than its width. Find the dimensions. The dimensions are L is length and W is width. Okay. Here it says the perimeter equals 18. Well, perimeter for a rectangle is to add up all the sides. When we add up all the sides, we have two lengths and we have two widths when we have a, um, a rectangle. So our first equation comes from this right here. 2L plus 2W equals 18. And if you aren't sure where that came from, you can always take a look at a rectangle. And if you added all the sides, L plus L plus W plus W, you have two L's and two W's when you combine like terms. Okay. The second equation comes from our second sentence here. And it's pretty straightforward. It says the length is, is is our equals. So the length equals five greater is the same as five more. So we do plus five. And it's plus five to the width. And so we leave a gap there. And that one is done as well. Okay. Here, Timmy has 180 marbles. Some are plain and some are colored. So he has plain ones and he has colored ones. If there are 32 more plain than colored marbles, how many colored marbles does he have? So here's our first equation right here. He has, Timmy has 180. So he has plain ones and colored ones. And that equals 180 total. Okay. The second one here, this is one of those comparison statements and it's a little bit, those are the ones that are a little bit tricky. There's your R, that's your equals. So it says 32 more plain than colored. So you have to figure out which one is the bigger quantity and it tells you 32 more plain. So plain is bigger. There's our equal. 32 more means plus 32. So we skip a space. Plus 32, plus 32 to the colored. So that is your answer. The next one here says a theater sold 900 tickets to a play. Floor seats cost $12 and balcony seats cost $10. Total receipts were $97.80. How many of each type? So we have floor and we have balcony. Okay, so our first equation comes around here. They sold a total of 900 tickets. So if you add up floor plus balcony, they sold 900 tickets. Our second one, this is what we call a money statement. And money statements where you put all the money together in one sentence. So here we have 12 goes with floor. So 12 with floor. And means add. 10 goes with balcony. And that equals the other money, which is 9780. And what you can see is that we put all our money together and so we'd like to say money 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 all right, and that one is done all right, when you get to the multiple choice ones you can still identify your variables and still work them out the same way but they do end up being a lot easier because you have something to look at here it says at a bookstore Carla, Carla purchased a math textbook and a novel that cost a total of $54 if the price of a math textbook M and so they've identified the variable for you M is math is eight more than three times the price of the novel in which system of linear equations could be used to determine the price of each book. So equation one, right up here at the beginning, she purchased a math book and, so and is plus, and a novel, and she spent $54. So when I get my first equation, I like to go and mark off any of them that don't line up, don't match up already. This one doesn't, and this one doesn't. And that way, if I have to guess, I'm just guessing between H and J, and that makes me a much better guesser. Our second equation comes from right here. And this one's pretty straightforward. Math is, so math is, 8 more. Skip a space and do plus 8. It's 8 more than 3 times N, which we know is 3N. And so when you look at these, that right there, that would be less than, so that's not right. And that's the right answer.
All right, last one. It says, student council at Jefferson High School sold a total of 220 brownies and cookies during its fundraiser. Each brownie cost 75 cents and each cookie cost 50 cents. The student council made $136.50 from the sale of brownies and cookies. Which system of linear equations can be used to find B, brownies, and C, cookies? So again, they've identified them for you here. B, brownies, and C, cookies. All right, and so we look right up here at the beginning and they give us a total statement. A total of 220 brownies and cookies. So that's where we start. Brownies plus cookies is 220. Goes away, goes away. And then we're going to put all our money together. 75 cents goes with brownies. And at that point, I'm actually done because this one says 50 cents goes with brownies. I can finish it on out. And uh, 50 cents for cookies. And the last money, since we put money, money, money together, is 136.50. And so there you go. See you guys in class.